Hi, so in this video I'm going to explain to you how to use the new hierarchy functionality that we have for our new flow editor release. So I'm just going to use a data set from our library. I'm going to use global life expectancy and I'm going to go into the new data transformer um, and I'm actually going to create um, my different levels in my hierarchy. So the top level would be continent. So I'm going to drag that over into our groups first. And you'll see it automatically applies um, this grouping and you can expand it um, and see all of the data inside. I'm also going to create a snapshot just to make sure that this is all getting saved. And I'm gonna call it <clears throat> hierarchy levels. And so now my snapshot saved. So you'll notice that once I do this, there's just blank data in here because um, it doesn't know how to aggregate those um, these other columns onto a higher level. So we can do things like for life expectancy, for example, if you hover, there'll be a little hamburger icon and you click on it and you'll see value aggregation. So do we want the average life expectancy for um, these continents? or the, maybe the last, I'm gonna go with average for now. Um, and so then you see, so for Asia, the average life expectancy for all of the years of data that we have is 44. Um, and so you can see a higher level view of that. So I'm just gonna do a few more of those calculations real quick. Population, I'm gonna do sum. Income, I'm gonna do average. Latitude and longitude, I'm gonna do average. And this is something that's really helpful in um, when you're doing a hierarchy over a map. So that way you can yeah, determine where the center point of each of those um, continents is. And average. So right now I, I did a little sort here. If you click on this um, header, it'll automatically do a, a sort and you can do ascending, descending, um, and then click it again to turn it off. Um, Continent. I'm going to do, since the continent tab's already here, I'm just going to do um, a first, just so that way it, it shows up, um, since they'll all be the same, but just we want to make sure it shows up. And then I'll leave the rest of these blank, because um, they don't really make sense to aggregate up to a higher level. I'm also going to <clears throat> do another level. So this is our first level. I'm going to do another level in um, region. I'm going to drag that up here so you can see it does this little arrow in between the two and if I open this up you'll see we have another level in the hierarchy I can't really see what this says so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm going to do auto size all columns so now we can see everything in here so now we have the continent as well as the region um, and then within there there's also country so let's bring country up so now let's look at uh, Asia so we have the continent, the region, and then within that, the country. And it tells you how many, um, the count of how many values are in each, um, in these parentheses here. And so it's 171 because that's how many years we have, um, starting from 1850 to 2020 this year. Or my timing is very off. <laughs> uh, a couple years ago now. <laughs> so. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and click update and close out of this. And now if we go into snapshot and choose our hierarchy level, we'll get a few more options in our chart type. So when we just have no, just our regular data set selected, no um, snapshot, you'll see we have our normal chart types here. But when we go ahead and select it, we'll get a new chart type called hierarchy. It'll automatically place these into a hierarchy for you. So um, right now we have a circular layout, but you also do a linear layout like this. Um, I'm gonna keep it on circular for now. And I'm gonna also do uh, maybe a, a colorization, a color scheme based on the um, region, just to separate these out a little bit more. Or maybe I'll do it on continent. Yeah, so you can see the different um, continents here. And I'm gonna add a connection just to be able to see this a little bit better. And this is where another thing comes up based on hierarchy level. 
This is something that's automatically generated from our software. And once I do that, you can see all of the different uh, countries laid out. So let me um, make this a little bit thinner. Doo -doo. Okay, that's too thin. Something like that maybe is good. And change the opacity a little. Something like that. Um, and then I can also go ahead and add an interaction. So when we click on each of these dots, we know what they are. So if we do an on select and select the um, continent and so let's try and show region and country as well. So you'll notice that things don't necessarily come up when you click on these upper level dots. You only get Africa and then two blank um, columns here. And then if we click in the country level, you can see, okay, we get the continent, the region, as well as the country because that data is available down at this level. Um, yeah, so that kind of explains that a little bit. Um, and then you can also do a label. Um, and so say we want to show the, the continent, um, it'll automatically just apply like a random subset, but if we choose um, when the value of the hierarchy level is equal to, say one, it only pops it out on this upper level. So that way it's not just showing the labels at, at every tiny dot in here. Um, so that's helpful. Now we know, okay, these are the African countries, these are the European countries, Oceania, uh, Americas, and Asia. So there's a bit you can do more with labels here. Um, and just to show you what this looks like as a linear chart, um, there's options to do both um, and be able to really see how that, that data is structured and um, how you can drill down further into it. So hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.